Hi everyone, this is Chrissy from In The Stars by Chrissy.com and this is your December 2019 Love Monthly Forecast Reading. So just a quick disclaimer that this reading is going to be very general and it may or may not really tune in with the rest of you guys even though I can make very solid predictions because how I do my readings is really predictive. So just keep that in mind. So accept what you want to hear and ignore the rest if that is what you want but I would suggest that to keep in mind all the informations over here because I really want to share you guys what I'm picking up and that can lead to help you guys on how to navigate the entire month of December in case some some situations come up for you so um yeah for a more personal prediction and reading that is for you for your own situation you can do that by ordering a reading and booking a session with me through my website in the stars by chrissy.com i would advise you guys to check in with your sun moon and rising sign um, and combine all the information right there to make it more um to connect with you but basically so that you can gain a lot more information throughout this reading session even though it's just free here on youtube so um yeah thank you guys for tuning in with me and let's get on with the reading hi there virgos and this is your december 2019 love monthly forecast reading with me chrissy from in the stars by chrissy Love. Um, now, I am doing things a little bit differently. Not really differently because I have been doing this type of reading when I first started YouTube. So I'm simply going back to my old reading style. I kind of feel that this is the most um, effective way to really connect with you guys in a general level. and But still a little bit more you know, predictive and detailed that kind and a little bit more personal one way or another but do know that this is still a general reading so it may or may not tune in for the rest of you guys so um yeah just keep that in mind and the only way to really have a reading specific for your own situation is to get a private session which you may or may not do um it's really going to be up to you but um yeah without any further ado let's get on with the reading or Virgos. Okay, so the first thing when I was, you know, shuffling the cards and all that, I was having a visualization of clouds, dark clouds showing up. I was also taking a look with my crystal ball whenever I do shuffles like this, and you know. It's like everything is in plain darkness. Not really darkness, but a lot of clouds. A very cloudy scenario is what I'm picking up. So the first thing that I can really say is that I kind of feel that confusion, mystery, and getting lost in the process is quite strong for a lot of Virgos out there. So, um, yeah. And that is probably the number one thing that you are going to battle within yourself as you go along through the month. So anyway, right here we are seeing as well that you want to be happy. You want that form of happily ever after. You want that form of fulfillment to be felt and experienced regardless if you are single and wanting to date someone or whether you are already in a relationship. I kind of feel that for those of you that are singles, you are in a sense wherein you are wanting to achieve some form of happiness. You wanted to get married or probably settle down or just have some form of enjoyment in terms of your emotions, wanting to be happy. But I kind of feel that, you know, there are a lot of contradictions in your life at this time that is quite, um, it does not make that wish of yours very possible, at the very least at this present moment. 
there are a lot of inner struggles right there. And if you are in a relationship, this will manifest in a way wherein there could be a lack of happiness, a lack of passion between you and your lover, you and your person. And maybe you're, you guys are not seeing things on an eye-to-eye -eye level. So regardless, there is a sense we're in. A lot of Virgos are wanting some form of happiness, wanting to have that dream love, dream relationship, but is having having some form of struggle because you are not achieving things. Either you are fighting with your person or maybe this is just an inner struggle wherein you are feeling conflicted of what you really want. There is that energy wherein you know what you want at the same time you don't. There is that energy that I'm picking up here. Also, I do see that, you know, you have... A huge surge of energy coming in in your in your in your um in your being in your relationship in your mind and with your day-to-day -day activities there could be an element of surprise that always caught you off guard and you're not able to see the details of things that you usually do and it is showing up here that you have been contemplating about life, contemplating about this relationship, contemplating about things that are not working out for you. But it's not as if you're doing anything to change that anyway. It's like you're not satisfied with things, but you're hanging on. You're still living. You're still surviving. And nothing's really wrong with that. I just kind of feel that whatever you are feeling right now is going to intensify and you're trying to intensify this on a negative level i'm saying the word you're trying to intensify this even though i know that you know you're not wanting to be negative it's not as if you are forcing yourself to be negative it's just that i kind of feel that you are being too critical with yourself and you're being too critical of other people as well with your partner so it's not as if you're intentionally do intentionally doing this. I just kind of feel that this is how you are, you know. Maybe because a lot of Virgos tend to be real with themselves. They make this excuse that I'm just being real. This is the most common sense scenario that this relationship, this situation is going through. But at the end of the day, that can also be seen as pessimism. We do have a lot of, you know, pessimistic cards around this reading. And this is about you, you know, you, even though you wanted to be positive, you're trying to be positive even for some of you. But you just don't see that light. You're having a hard time. For some of you, you're just for some of you, you are just being nitpicky about the situation, wanting to be a little bit selfish of wanting to achieve a certain goal, but at the same time, you don't want to make any action. You don't want to do anything about it anyway. It's basically you want to receive things without taking a step up to initiating anything or to give anything to anyone that kind of energy i'm also getting here that you could be in a situ situation wherein everything is perfect in your life but for some reason you're not happy there is something that is lacking in your life maybe you are lacking love maybe you do have a career you have stability or maybe you don't i don't know but i just kind of feel that you know there is a sense of loneliness a sense that you feel that something is lacking in your life, something that is preventing you to feel complete as a whole. So, yeah, and I kind of feel that that feeling might, you know, come in very strongly for the month of December. However, um, 
I'm also getting here that if you are questioning, if you're questioning if your partner or your relationship or if your partner is doing something behind your back, maybe because they are not very sweet anymore, they're not doing things for you, they're not really making you feel good anymore, maybe you are questioning that they are cheating behind your back, the answer here is no, they are not. I kind of feel that you do have a lot of doubts, a lot of questions about the other person or your relationship. But these are all baseless. These are just your own thoughts. And we are getting here that the answer is no. They are not cheating. They are single. If you are questioning if someone is single or are they in a relationship, they are single. You are just being too critical with things. So the result is that you just see things all negative, you know. There is a situation here that you're not being too, being appreciative, appreciative of what's happening in your life. Or maybe, you know, maybe you had a streak of some form of problematic situation that led you to always think negative now. A part of this is you being cautious. You're being guarded, which I think is okay. I mean, it's normal. You want to you want to protect yourself. It shows here that not only you're negative, some of you guys are hurt. It could be your ego is hurt. It could be that you are emotionally hurt, even though that the other person did not really do anything to hurt you. You just felt hurt in the process for some odd reason. You may have your own reasons why you felt hurt. Because I'm being shown here that, you know, you are in a situation where in everything is okay, everything is doing well, but for some reason, you're the one who is quite pessimistic. You have your own thoughts, you have your own criticism about this relationship, about this scenario, about this situation, to a point now that I don't think that you're even taking a look on the situation clearly. You're not seeing things clearly. You are putting things idea, you're putting ideas in your head. You're feeling things. You're acting upon your innate attitude, your own your innate emotions, I would say. Because I kind of feel that some of you guys might be too emotionally reactive as well. You know, if you think about things clearly, you will be able to see that nothing is really wrong in this situation. And even if there is something wrong, without you trying to talk to that person, without you trying to make things clear to that person everything is just going to be in plain confusion you know you will never understand anything without clearing anything that is really what i'm getting here we are also seeing here that some of you guys might be bored with a relationship you're getting bored so you know, you're putting a lot of ideas in your head, which may sabotage the relationship or which might trigger some form of excitement. Whether the per repercussions on that could be good or bad, I don't know. I just kind of feel that, you know, some of you guys can be bored with that relationship. And maybe you guys prefer to be single now. Not all Virgos are like that. So I'm just giving you, you guys, you know, various things here so that you can resonate. There is some form of feeling here of being skeptical with people that comes to you. We do have that 11th house and Neptune in Capricorn. So this is not really someone that acts upon intuition. In fact, you are 
unsure of the person that suddenly entered your life. Or maybe, you know, people around you, the, the people that you're talking to, you, there is something that you're being cautious about, protecting yourself about, even though that they may not be thinking any negatives on you, you know? They are being nice, but you're second-guessing everything. So, um, yeah, there is that energy here. You might be talking with a friend, though, a friend who is having some form of troubles. And, yeah, I do see here that there could be a lot of people involved in the process. Maybe you're willing to explore um, outside the relationship, wanting someone new. That kind of energy can be here as well. This can also be a situation wherein you wanted to build a more solid foundation, solid relationship with that person. But you're not really trying to connect with them. You're not trying to speak up. I don't know if it's your ego or maybe you're just waiting for them to do the first step. But from what I'm getting here, you need to be more willing to initiate the conversation, to talk with that person. Maybe write them a letter, send them an email, connect with them. It will be a first step. Instead of you wallowing in negativity and trying to think about things, imagine things, daydreaming of things that may not necessarily happen, you know? You do have a habit of overthinking things because of your own assumption. So, um, yeah, and that could be very strong for you this month of December. We do have here the Freedom card. It's telling you to free yourself and maybe love yourself more. There is a lack of self-care, I feel, for a lot of you guys as well. And that is why you, you're being hard on yourself. Because you may be open-minded in terms of other things in your life, other factors, other, other topics, other themes, like career and all that. But when it comes to love, I kind of feel that, you know, like some of you guys are having a hard time loving themselves. Maybe they have been focusing on giving their energy to someone else to a point wherein, you know, they have become unhappy. So, um, yeah, it's telling you to free yourself and learn to love yourself once again. We do have here Sonia, which is, you know, talking about love and telling you that everything is actually okay. Nothing is wrong. And even if there is something quite off in the relationship, it's not really that crazy than you think and you, you imagine things to be. We also have here the card of believe and trust. And like I said, nothing is really wrong. You just need to trust. Trust the person, trust your person, trust that relationship. And all you really need is to talk to that person, to communicate with them, try to work it out with them. Try to talk about things that has changed in the relationship if there were changes. You don't need to make things complicated. I guess that could be the biggest message. Don't make everything complicated when things are actually doing well. This could be also a point wherein, you know, someone suddenly enters your life and then maybe that person did not treat you so well in the past. And that is, you know, creating a lot of guarding energy on your part, which is quite understandable. And if that is the case, this is like a message that, hey, you you should be able to give them a second chance. Give them a chance to, you know, um, to make it up to you and believe that everything is happening. 
in the right order of things, that kind of energy. So, um, yeah, I guess this is my reading from you guys, Virgo. I do hope that it has bring you insightful stuff. And I hope that it gave you some form of clarity to your own situation. Again, this is a general reading, but I did try my best to tell you guys how this can manifest for each and every one of you. Single, married, in a relationship, in a complicated relationship. Um, yeah, if you'd like a more personal reading, just go to my website, book a session with me. I do I do chat readings, email readings, and pre-recorded video recordings as well. Um, a reading just similar to this one. It's also available. And yeah, I'll see you guys again next time. Next year. 